wonders what's happening. What you just saw is one of our favorite four things that we have been experiencing so far here in Tenerife. Unfortunately, we didn't know you need a European driver's license to drive a car here. Yeah. Apparently in America, you have to go to the DMV and have a special European pass put on your license to drive here. Yeah. So instead we got these bicycles that are powered by electricity and they kind of make us feel a little bit like transformers. Yes, <laughs> it makes me feel like I'm like super fast. Especially on the uphills. Yes, which is really nice because we live at the very top of the hill. Yeah, so our favorite thing so far is getting on those bikes and heading from our cute little villa on the top of the mountain in the Pinos Altos all the way down, like 40 minutes straight down the mountain to the ocean. It's such a rush. Like when I get done, I feel like my skin is like vibrating. It's just like so much energy. I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. This town is not built for bikes, but we're doing the best we can. Yes. So the second thing that we absolutely love about Tenerife is the coffee shop that we've been going to, Roots. It is absolutely wonderful. It's so cute and the owner is fantastic. Yeah, she's super sweet. The menu is like almost all vegan. They have juices and they have teas and they have smoothies. It's, it's absolutely wonderful and the Wi-Fi is spectacular. So this has kind of become our Seinfeld or our friends Central Perk hangout. Yeah, we're always like no. coffee shop. We're like, all right, coffee shop. <laughs> so we've we can been eat here. here, we can do work here. Yeah, combination. So we've been here probably like every day. So that brings us to the third thing that we absolutely love here in Tenerife is right behind us. Ooh. It's a fruit stand and it has like the best fruit ever, like this. Do you call it pitaya or dragon fruit? Dragon fruit. <laughs> I never remember the other name, but I'm sure eventually I will. We've also found Guanabana soursop, we found mame, we found uh, canistel egg fruit sapote. Yeah, we also have delicious bananas and grapes. And Papaya. Dates and everything, so. Avocados. Avocados, everything. And the owner is really, really sweet too. He's like this old like, like fruit stand man. He was actually mean to us at first because yeah. he thought we were just filming his fruit without paying for the stuff. Yeah. But now that we've gone there like 10 days in a row, he's like, oh, my friends. Yeah. And he's like, we'll See have tomorrow. more mame tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, it's super sweet. So and the fourth thing? The fourth thing, of course, is the ocean. I love the ocean. I would love to live on or nearby the ocean, like 30 second walking distance in the future. Maybe if you guys follow us, someday we'll have a place of our own near the ocean. Maybe. So we want to take you guys to our favorite ocean spot we found so far. And we have three events this week scheduled where locals are going to take us to some of the secret beaches around. Mm -hmm. But we wanted to go to the beach right now, show you guys the black sands of Tenerife, which are mind blowing. It's so amazing. It's very cool. And when we're there, do our first question answer that we've done in a while. So if you guys have any questions for us, put them down in the comments below and we'll answer them in a video like this. Let's get some vegan food first and then let's go. Yes. All right, our work for the day is all finished. The smoothies we got today were bomb. Delicious, outstanding. Yep. Now to the beach. We're at the beach. This beach is incredible. Yes, our favorite beach here in the Canary Islands so far. We had like the whole beach to ourselves, so which is awesome. So we decided to do our Q and A here, and let's get into it. And just behind the camera are a bunch of nudists, so we're not going to show them. <laughs> You guys ask us so many questions in the comments below and also on both of our Instagram, Blue Sky Yoga Girl and Jake Makes Tai Chi. So we pulled in some of the questions from YouTube comments and Instagram. We have our favorites. If you want your question to be answered in a future video, comment your question down below right now. So our first Q&A. First question is, do you guys want to live in Canada or the USA? Do you want to live in Canada or the USA? I'm going to say Canada. So where do you want to go? For living the rest of my life. Yes. Well, why can't I live in multiple places? I mean, you can. I mean, I was born in Canada and I've been brought up in America. So I've kind of experienced both countries. And part of the reason why Nicole and I are doing this trip, going to all these different countries and all these different cities is to experience different cultures, different people, different environments, different governments and how different countries feel and operate. And what I found in my life is that my friends who are American that have done a lot of traveling, they don't think America is necessarily the best country in the world. It's a good country if you're looking for certain things. But there are other amazing countries also, like yeah. Canada, yeah. like Spain, like Portugal, like France, etc., etc., etc. 
So for me, personally, I just get a really good vibe and a really good feel when I'm in Canada. I like the Four Seasons. I like the people in Canada. I like the way the cities are structured in Canada. And I also have an opportunity to live in either country because of my parents and my place of birth. So I wouldn't mind having a place to live in America. I wouldn't mind having a place to live in Mexico or Portugal. But I think I would love to live full time in Canada somewhere. Please stay tuned to this channel and my vegan athlete YouTube channel to see what happens to Nicole and I and where we go in the future. Yes. All right, question number two. How did you and Jake meet? How did we meet? Well, officially, how did we meet? Officially, the first time we actually met each other uh, was a garden tour. So Jake would always put on garden tours at his, at his home um, in Tempe. And um, an old boss of mine bought a ticket for me to go, and um, I went. Because you were in a gardening program at the school you were going to. Yes. Like an urban gardening program. Yes. And she had watched my videos on gardening and said you should come to this gardening class. Yeah. And you came. I did. It's kind of a long story, so would you guys be interested in us making a video of how we met and reading our first text messages to each other? I know that I would be interested in reading our texts we first sent each other. <laughs> Comment down below I? if you guys want to see that. That would make for a fun video. Alright, question number three. Will you and Jake be doing any more gardening? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I've had a few loves in my life in terms of things I'm into. And of course, you guys know I do a martial arts channel here on YouTube that has a million subscribers. The martial arts have been one of my loves. I've also been in love with golf. Of course, I'm in love with Nicole. But I'm talking about activities. Yeah. And nowadays, gardening is my love. And my athleticism kind of helps to feed my abilities in gardening. So of course, gardening is gonna be an integral part of my life forever. And Nicole and I met through gardening we're gonna to garden together. Yeah. Part of this trip is learning more about gardening. Yeah, so again, stay tuned and keep watching because it's only gonna get better from here. All right, question number four. How did you start your vegan journey? So I'll tell mine and then Jake will tell you. How long have you been vegan for? I've been vegan for a little over a year now. I'm vegetarian for three years. I went vegetarian first because um, I kind of grew up with a family that always went hunting and my dad's a big fisherman. So we always had fresh like elk or steak in the fridge. When I moved to Arizona, um, I wasn't getting the fresh meat that I was used to. So I decided to go vegetarian. I didn't really know much about animal rights and all that stuff. I, I wasn't really into that until I met Jake. Um, I went vegan about a month before I met Jake and then he's kind of helped me along my journey to stay vegan and kind of show me the way. But I would argue that you were into the animal rights part of vegan before you met me because you are very compassionate toward animals. Well, I am. I don't think that I was as extreme as I am now as then. Um, like not eating them? Yeah. By extreme you mean not eating them? Well, like I just, I didn't know much about it, I guess. I didn't, I didn't really do a lot of research. I didn't know it was as bad as it was. Like I knew it was bad, but I didn't, you know, I just, I learned, a, I've learned a lot since I've gone vegan. In terms of what, like what was as bad as you thought? Are you talking about the treatment of animals that are yeah. meant for human eating? Yeah, like what they're doing to the animals, how they're separating, you know, moms from their babies, um, what they're injecting them with, how they're mass producing them, and what they're doing with the carcasses and what they're doing with the feces and like what it's doing to our planet. Like I didn't, I didn't know to that extent. And for me, it's just ludicrous that people who are not vegan love their dogs and love their cats. And they love their rabbit or their bird yeah. or their kids, but they slaughter another living, breathing animal. Yeah. It makes no sense to me. Well, I think it doesn't make any sense to me, which is so funny. And I, when I first started watching Friends, the TV show Friends, I love that show. Um, I, I didn't really think twice about this episode. When Ross's ex-wife, Carol, I do believe her name is, is breastfeeding and they make a big deal about drinking her breast milk, and but they go and drink cow's milk. But that is from a female cow, like a, a Wait, female. So that is in the Friends episode? Yeah, so. So was it like Chandler and Joey don't like the idea of drinking a woman's milk? Well, Joey's fine with it, but Ross is like, <laughs> oh my God, bring it! You know, he freaks out and he like makes a big deal and they make him try it with an Oreo cookie. Wow. But it's just so funny because he's afraid to try his own kind 
milk, like his own kind is human, but he'll drink a cow's milk from another bean. Like, a, oh, it's just, it's weird. It's like, so funny. That's an amazing episode. We should go to the grocery store and we should see human milk on the shelf. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. We should. <laughs> but that's a whole bit, like, discussion that we can And I think most people would be like Ross. They'd be like, oh my god, I can't drink human milk unless I'm an infant. Yeah. Like but drinking cow's milk is okay. Yeah. Which is, it blows my mind. So it sounds like you were vegetarian even though nobody else in your family was. Yeah. And they're a bunch of, you know, hunters and fishermen. fishermen. Well, for the most part, like my, my dad mostly is. And now you transitioned to vegan for almost two years ago. Yeah. But my family is super supportive. I love you guys. And your family is very supportive of you. They're just not vegan themselves. No, not yet. <laughs> or even vegan 18 years ago. No. Wait, what's the actual question? I forgot. Uh, what started your vegan journey? Oh. I made a whole video on my vegan athlete channel that's like 30 minutes long about this. Yeah. We can there's link a lot that of below. Yeah, we'll link it below. But the short answer is that I went vegan for health reasons because I was 19 years old. My martial art teachers were vegan. I had no idea what that was. This was 18 years ago, before social media, before Google, before Facebook, before YouTube. I had never heard of the word vegan, but they were very strong. And they were double my age, triple my age. And they told me they only eat plants. No meat and no milk and no fish. And I was like, what the hell are you talking about? Because I was the biggest meat eater you've ever seen in your entire life. So I went to China on a scholarship to study Mandarin live there. I came back. I decided to make my first day back in America the first day I would try being vegan for a month. And I just kept being vegan. Early on, I was only vegan to be stronger and healthier like them. But then I would go with them to a seminar or to a workshop or I'd read a vegan book. And I started learning about animal cruelty, animal treatment. I started learning about tax dollars that go to give money to the meat dairy industry. I learned about how much of a waste it is to eat meat. It's a waste of water. It's a waste of plants and vegetables. It takes 20 pounds of vegetables to produce one pound of meat. That's ludicrous. If everybody ate vegan like us, there would instantly be 20 times more food in the world. When you guys go vegan, it truly opens your eyes to a whole new world. And that's a whole nother discussion, a whole nother video. Let's get on to the next question. All right, question number five, the last question. Where are we heading next? Right now, we're technically in Spain, Africa. In Africa. We're right next to Africa in a place called Tenerife, Canary Island, which is kind of owned by the Spanish crown. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And next, I guess they'll have to watch our videos to figure it out. We can give them a little bit of a hint. Well, we're going to be going to another country in Europe. <laughs> and then we're going to be leaving Europe. Maybe you can give it away. The next three countries are Greece, India, and Thailand. Right. And then technically back to the U.S., but not really. Yeah, but you'll have to continue to watch, so find out where we're going. And you guys can follow us minute by minute on our Instagrams, Blue Sky Yoga Girl underscore and Jake Mace Tai Chi. You can also follow my vegan athlete YouTube channel, which has more videos of our wolfing adventure and footage that you have not yet seen. Thank you guys for watching our first Q&A. Again, if you guys have any questions for our next Q&A video, please put them down in the description below. And we'll save our best ones for the next question and answer video like this, which will probably be in a different location without the ocean noise, but I just love the ocean so much. I think you guys can hear us okay. We have a really good mic on this camera and yeah. A little ocean noise is good for the soul. Yeah, it's kind of very meditative. But yeah. So we're going to go jump in the ocean now. So peace out. Don't forget to subscribe.